Dear students, it is the fourth video for the week 14 lecture 28. In this video we will cover the possible solutions to the challenges in the agriculture of Pakistan. As you know this that Pakistan is agri-based country and almost 46 percent of the total economy or GDP of Pakistan is based on agriculture. Secondly, agriculture employs maximum people and engage them and provides them physical plus activity plus some income. However, that is better. If you visit Pakistan from the top of the mountains to the lower plains of Indus Valley or Sindh, you find that in the in the farms and other areas people keep working poor people uh, get up early in the morning and they go out for weeds and herbs and other feather for their uh, animals mostly the villagers of the poor nature uh, do have a sheep or camel or a goat which is fed and they normally have to uh, wander through the pastures and the fields for their uh, food and that is to many people is the only source of income plus agriculture gives means uh, import may promotes the goods of Pakistan in the world and Pakistan gets uh, exchequer or revenue but despite all these benefits and challenges Pakistan agriculture economy is depleting it is shrinking and reducing day by day and there are so many factors some are natural mean uncontrolled or under the control of nature whereas others are mostly human and it has been observed that human factor is more fatal than the natural factor in human factor we find number one uh, completely negating the agriculture sector policies of the government not to promote agriculture rather to focus on industry policies and the vision of the parties is not promoting agriculture whether the most of the voters are from agriculture lands lack of the education putting extraordinary taxes, lack of roads to access the market, nutrition and preservation of agricultural products. So these are the some major issues. Fine. And along with the land mafia, urbanization, not proper resources of energy thereby the people are cutting trees they are utilizing their farms as a substitute clear so these are some of the major trends and threats to the agricultural front of Pakistan let's have an overview about the problems uh, agriculturists are facing number one most of the farmers do not have access to advanced modern machinery and they are still relying on the conventional tools exactly advanced 
and the modern machinery is exported and that is very expensive and export duties imposed by government are huge thereby they are not able to produce it secondly they need skilled youth to utilize that machinery so it is really a grave challenge a person owning who owns a little tract of land cannot afford a tractor of 40 lakhs or 50 lakhs or 20 lakhs right so it needs income the government should most of our farmers are uneducated and they don't have proper knowledge of the advanced farming quality of soil and amount of nutrients available for the required available or required mean means that the farming lot they are a little educated whereas the technology in the world has gone for advance thereby they are unable to use whereas contrary to this in the advanced world the countries do have a limited tract of land yet they produce more crops with the help of the technology next as we don't have a proper system of preservation so a large proportion of our perishable products are spoiled before reaching the market yes hot season other issues that preservation system is not properly I mean the proper godans proper vehicles that maintain the temperature they are not available and if they are available they are available with the multinational companies like Nestle and Frutella and all other companies they preserve everything properly because they have the money and resources disease resistant and high yielding seed is very costly and farmers cannot afford it we also don't have an effective irrigation system other problem is that just like human beings seeds are also do have diseases so a uh, disease free effective seed is very costly and farmers cannot pay the price is exactly the same and next is we also don't have the effective irrigation system yes the irrigation system other than Punjab is not effective and quite a hard little governments have focused on this very area rather than they are focusing on the other uh, urban structure developments like uh, building roads and metros and other things but hardly there is any plan we have a very little quality research on agriculture to cope with the disease of plants and policies of the government about the sectors are not efficient yes this claim is true in a sense but not fully yes Pakistani uh, as for the policies are concerned policies are not that effective yet agriculture research has been introduced in Pakistan long ago agriculture university of Faisalabad arid agriculture university Galpindi and there are similar universities in Pakistan which are working on this field and they have produced excellent results. Modern methods of agriculture suggest that both additive and exhaustive crops should be grown to maintain the level of nutrients but the concept is not popular in Pakistan. It means that all kinds of crops should be grown and don't let your जैसे सरगोदा में या अब नॉर्दर्न एरिया में चले जाएं तो वहां पर आड़ू के बगात लगे हुए हैं या सरगोदा में सिट्रस के बगात लगे हुए हैं तो वहां पर वो कोई और क्रॉप नहीं उगाते उसके درمیان वो कहते हैं बस सिर्फ हमने यही उगाना है और इसी को बेचना है फाइन सो वेयर एज द अदर वर्ल्ड देयर यूटिलाइजिंग ईच एंड एवरी इंच प्रॉपर्ली ऑलमोस्ट 80% ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर कंपनीज आर प्राइवेट and they provide very costly fertilizers to the farmers which every farmer cannot afford and if one doesn't afford doesn't use uh, 
fertilizes, the yield of crop is barely affected. It is really true that private companies have the monopoly over the fertilizers and although government provides them sub subsidy in, in the previous time, but that subsidy is, subsidy is not uh, much effective. So, government should means this is another issue. Next, farmers are not getting the handsome price of the product. That is why they are demotivated and cultivated area is decreasing hence leading to a shortage of food. Farmers are not getting price. Who is responsible? The middleman, this is really bad. They earn most of the chunk from the end customer and the so middleman uh, role should be eliminated. Next, youth prefer to be employed than to be a farmer because this sector requires more efforts but the profit is less. Yes, people do own land but hardly bas wohi log kheto par kaam karna chahte hain jinke paas koi aur kaam nahi hai kyunki isme profit less hai is wajah se tamam log jo hain wo naukri ki taraf tawajjo dete hain environment factors have also contributed to the lowering yield of crops environmental pollution global warming change in the pattern of rainfall have adverse impact on the crops Environmental changes, जो मौसमी हालात हैं जैसे बारिशें हैं, pollution है, global warming है, बारिशों का काम या ज़्यादा हो जाना है, इससे भी ये जो climate change के ज़रिए से change हुए हैं pattern, इससे भी crops में बड़ी कमी है। ये for example आपने देखा होगा कि पंजाब के अंदर या पिछले एक साल, एक साल से भी काम शायद कुछ छः महीने साल पहले, छः महीने पहले شدید یالہ باری ہوئی تھی پنجاب کے علاقوں میں حالانکہ ان علاقوں میں موسی یالہ باری نہیں ہوتی فائن اس سے بہت زیادہ فصلیں جو ہیں وہ تباہ ہو گئی ہیں موسٹ ریسنٹ ٹائم ابھی آپ دیکھیں گے یس ان ٹو تاؤزن ٹونٹی ریٹ ان درننگ مومنٹ ان درننگ مومنٹ the case of flood is imminent Next, most of the pesticides, insecticides or sprays are imported from the other countries and they are too costly to be used at the required rate. Jo pesticides hai, kide maar adviyat hai, ya jo makhi maar ho, kide maar adviyat hai, jarasim kush adviyat hai, ye chukke baironi mulak se zyada import ki jati hai, aur wo costly hoti hai. Is wajah se yaan ke kisaan unki mukammal جو مقدار ہے جس مقدار میں ان کو استعمال کیا جانا چاہیے وہ یوز نہیں کرتے اور اس کا ریزلٹ یہ نکلتا ہے کہ ان کی جو پروٹیکشن آف دو فیلڈ ہے وہ اس طرح نہیں ہوتی لاسٹلی سوائل ٹیسٹنگ لیبورٹریز ار نوٹ پریزنٹ ایٹ دا ریجنل لیول تو پروائیڈ انفرمیشن تو دا فارمرز اباؤٹ دا کوالٹی آف سوائل اینڈ نیوٹرنٹس ریکوائیڈ بائی دا کوم سوائل ٹیسٹنگ لیبورٹریز یہاں پر آویلیبل نہیں ہیں جو لوگوں کو فارمرز کو ان کی زمین کے بارے میں معلومات دیں یہ بتا سکیں کہ یہاں پر کون سی فصل بہتر اگ سکتی ہے اور کس فصل کو کس طریقے سے پرموٹ کیا جا سکتا ہے although the government plus some private sector is making efforts but these efforts are not that grave to address the problems fully. Now solution to the given problems, advanced modern machinery should be introduced in the agriculture sector to minimize the on field and off field losses. کہ بھئی ٹریکٹر ہے ہارویسٹر ہے یا دوختری کسی چیزیں ہیں وہ یوز کی جانی چاہیے 
اور فیلڈ کا مطلب ہے کہ گھر کسان کے گودان سے منڈی تک اس کا جو فیلڈ ہے کراپ ہے وہ پریزرو ہو وی کین بوسٹ دا ایگریکلچر سیکٹر ایف وی انکریج آر یوتھ ٹو اڈاپٹ دس پروفیشن اگر ہم اپنی ینگ نسل کو ایگریکلچر کے پروجیکٹ پر پروفیشن پر انکریج کریں اور انہیں انفارم کریں تو دے کین ڈو مچ اگرچہ ان دا پریزنٹ ایرا ان دا پریزنٹ ایرا یوتھ از ٹرننگ ٹوڈ دس فار لائف اسٹاک اینڈ ادرس نیکسٹ as most of the farmers are uneducated so they should be guided through proper channels about the timely management of the soil and the timely use of the pesticides insecticides fertilizers and the essential chemicals next farmers should be guided with advanced techniques and tools to increase yield and to improve the quality of agriculture products uh yeah point zabardast hai ki unko ایڈوانس ٹول کے متعلق بتایا جائے اور ایگریکلچر پروڈکٹس کو پریزرو کرنے کے جو لیٹسٹ کیمیکل اور سائنٹیفک طریقے آ گئے ہیں اس کے متعلق ریسرچ ورک شوڈ بی انکریز ٹو کوپ ود دا نیو ڈیزیزز اور لوکل لیول پر جو ڈیزیز پیدا ہو رہی ہیں ان کے لیے آن گراؤنڈ ریسرچ جو ہے وہ کی جانی چاہیے دا گورنمنٹ شوڈ پرووائڈ a fixed price of crops every year so that farmers can exactly get what they deserve really deserve uh, it's good one but it's challenging because now in the modern times unfortunately in the third world government have lost their market control and the market control is in the invincible hands and unfortunately where the socio economic system of pakistan is so complex that the people who have the responsibility to control these things they are the part of the government and you have seen the atra crisis and the chini crisis and many other crises that happened in pakistan they are mostly owing to the mismanagement and particularly the people the culprits are the part of government fine this is the reason that the farmers are at most loss soil testing laboratories should be made in areas where they are easily accessible for farmers so that they can test the soil and can manage it accordingly next government should impose strict rules against the deforestation to overcome damages caused by the global warming ye bahut bada element hai ji kya hum tezi ke sath جنگلات کا کٹاؤ کر رہے ہیں جو سب سے بڑا ایک لائیو ایشو ہے آپ راول پنڈی اسلام آباد یا اپنے ہی شہر کے ارد گرد دیکھ لیں ہاؤسنگ سوسائٹیز بن رہی ہیں انسیسریلی جن کی کوئی ضرورت نہیں ہے وہ سوسائٹیز بن رہی ہیں اس کے لیے ایگریکلچر لینڈ جو ہے وہ خراب ہو رہی ہے تو اس کے نتیجے میں ڈیفارسٹریشن کا ایک اینڈ ہے یہ اور اس کا نتیجہ یہ کہ گلوبل وارمنگ ول افیکٹ دا پیپل ریگولر ورک شاپس اینڈ میٹنگ شوڈ بی مین ارینجڈ بٹوین فارمرس اینڈ ایگریکلچر ایکسپرٹس ٹو ہیلپ فارمرس نو اباؤٹ نیو میتھڈ ٹیکنیکس آف فائٹنگ اگینسٹ ڈیزیزز اینڈ امپروونگ دا کوالٹی اینڈ دا یلڈ آف کراپس فائن سو دیز آر آل دا سولوشنس which have to be implemented pragmatically. Dear students, this is the end of our discussion and the end of this chapter. Uh, I will share the other affiliated material about the ecological system of Pakistan, crops and everything so that you may have the detailed information about that. Thank you very much.